Hello everyone. Welcome to Wonder Slate. Topic for today's quiz is General Science, Nuclear Science. Question number 1. Which of the following is used as a moderator in nuclear reactor? Option A. Thorium. Option B. Graphite. Option C. Radium. Option D. Ordinary water? The correct answer is Option B. Graphite. A moderator is a material used in a nuclear reactor to slow down the neutrons produced from fission. Question number 2. Which among the following is a positively charged particle emitted by a radioactive element? Option A. Beta ray. Option B. Alpha ray. Option C. Cathode ray. Option D. Gamma ray. The correct answer is Option B. Alpha ray, a positively charged particle made up of two protons and two neutrons and released by a radioactive nucleus is the alpha particle. Question number 3. Atoms are composed of Option A. Electrons and protons. Option B. Electrons only. Option C. Protons only. Option D. Electrons and nuclei. The correct answer is Option D. Electrons and nuclei. Atoms are the basic building blocks of ordinary matter. Atoms can join together to form molecules, which in turn form most of the objects around you. Atoms are composed of particles called protons, electrons and neutrons. Question number 4. In an atomic explosion, enormous energy is released which is due to Option A. Conversion of chemical energy into heat energy. Option B. Conversion of mechanical energy into nuclear energy. Option C. Conversion of mass into energy. Option D. Conversion of neutrons into protons. The correct answer is. Option C. Conversion of mass into energy. Question number 5. Isotopes are separated by Option A. Crystallization Option B. Sublimation Option C. Distillation Option D. Filtration The correct answer is Option C. Distillation Isotope separation is the process of concentrating specific isotopes of a chemical element by removing other isotopes. The use of the nuclides produced is various. Question number 6. What is the wavelength of visible spectrum? Option A. 8500 to 9800 angstrom. Option B. 7800 to 8000 angstrom. Option C. 3900 to 7600 angstrom. Option D. 1300 to 3000 angstrom. The correct answer is Option C. 3900 to 7600 angstrom. The visible spectrum is the portion of the electromagnetic spectrum that is visible to the human eye. Electromagnetic radiation in this range of wavelengths is called visible light or simply light. A typical human eye will respond to wavelengths from about 380 to 740 nanometers. Question number 7. Which of the following shows the masses of the three elementary particles in decreasing order? Option A. Leptons, Baryons, Mesons. Option B. Mesons, Baryons, Leptons. Option C. Baryons, Mesons, Leptons. Option D. Leptons, Mesons, Baryons. The correct answer is Option C. Baryons, Mesons, Leptons, Baryons, Mesons, Leptons. Question number 8. Which radioactive pollutant has recently drawn to public due to its occurrence in the building material? Option A. Thorium. Option B. 
radium option c plutonium option d radon the correct answer is option a thorium thorium is the radioactive pollutant question number 9 mesons are found in option a laser beam option b x rays option c gamma rays option d cosmic rays the correct answer is option d cosmic rays outside the nucleus mesons appear in nature only as short lived products of very high energy collisions between particles made of quarks such as cosmic rays high energy protons and neutrons and ordinary matter question number 10 the wavelength of x rays is of the order of option a 10 micron option b 1 angstrom option c 1 cm option d 1 meter the correct answer is option b 1 angstrom 1 angstrom is equal to 1.0 times 10 to 10 meters see the diagram given q 33 for wavelengths of different rays in the electromagnetic spectrum question number 11 which of the following has a least penetrating power option a all have same penetrating power option b beta particles option c alpha particles option d gamma rays the correct answer is option c alpha particles alpha particles have least penetrating power as compared to beta and gamma question number 12 the isotope of uranium capable of sustaining chain reaction is option a U two hundred thirty five option B U two hundred forty five option C U two hundred thirty nine option D U two hundred thirty eight. The correct answer is option A U two hundred thirty five U two hundred thirty five. Question number thirteen. The age of most ancient geological formations is estimated by option A Ra C method option B potassium argon method option C C14 method option D uranium lead method The correct answer is option D uranium lead method uranium lead method question number 14 who suggested that most of the mass of the atom is located in the nucleus option a thompson option b bohr option c rutherford option d einstein the correct answer is option c rutherford the atomic nucleus is the small dense region consisting of protons and neutrons at the center of an atom discovered in 1911 by Ernest Rutherford based on the 1909 Geiger mass and gold foil experiment question number 15 the dark lines in the solar spectrum are due to option a absorption of corresponding wavelengths by the outer layers of the sun option b destructive interference between waves of certain definite wavelengths option c absorption of corresponding wavelengths by the prism used in the photograph option d absence of corresponding wavelengths from the light emitted by the core of the sun the correct answer is option a absorption of corresponding wavelengths by the outer layers of the sun the dark lines in the solar spectrum correspond to absorption lines from atoms molecules and ions in the solar photosphere question number 16 nuclear fission is caused by the impact of option a neutron option b proton option c deuteron option d electron the 
The correct answer is Option A. Neutron Nuclear fission is caused by the impact of neutron. Question number 17. Atoms of an element differ from those of all other elements in Option A. Atomic number and electronic configuration. Option B. Number of neutrons and number of valence electrons. Option C. Atomic number and number of valence electrons. Option D. Number of neutrons and electronic configuration. The correct answer is Option A. Atomic number and electronic configuration. Atoms contain protons and neutrons in the nucleus and electrons outside the nucleus. Each element has a unique number of protons, known as its atomic number. Question number 18. According to Avogadro's hypothesis, the smallest particle of an element or a compound that can exist independently is called underscore. Option A. A molecule. Option B. A cation. Option C. An anion. Option D. An atom. The correct answer is Option A. A molecule, the smallest particle of an element or a compound that can exist independently, is called molecule. Question number 19. No two electrons in an atom can have the same set of four quantum numbers is Option A. Newton's law. Option B. Bohr's law. Option C. Aufbau principle. Option D. Pauli's exclusion principle. The correct answer is Option D. Pauli's exclusion principle. Since these two electrons are in the same orbital, they occupy the same region of space within the atom. As a result, their spin quantum numbers cannot be the same, and thus these two electrons cannot exist in the same atom. Wolfgang Pauli, the scientist who first proposed the Pauli exclusion principle. Question number 20. In an atomic nucleus, Neutrons and protons are held together by Option A. Gravitational forces Option B. Exchange forces Option C. Coulombic forces Option D. Magnetic forces The correct answer is Option B. Exchange forces the nucleus of an atom is held together by the strong nuclear force that binds together protons and neutrons. They exchange the forces and hence produce strong nuclear force. Although the strong nuclear force is the strongest of the four fundamental forces, it acts only over very short, typically nuclear, distances. Question number 21. Which of the following rays are more penetrating? Option A. Beta rays. Option B. Alpha rays, option C, gamma rays, option D, X rays. The correct answer is option C, gamma rays, penetration of gamma rays. Gamma rays are the most penetrating of the radiations. Gamma rays are highly energetic waves and are poor at ionizing other atoms or molecules. It cannot be said that a particular thickness of a material can absorb all gamma radiation. Question number 22. How many colors the sunlight spectrum has? Option A. 3. Option B. 7. Option C. 4. Option D. 5. The correct answer is. Option B. 7. The colors of the rainbow are the basic spectrum from which all the light we see is composed. Although these colors merge smoothly, they are sometimes divided into red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet, and other names. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.